Hey friends, let me know when you're hopping on. I thought I put this one right. Let me know when you are here. Let me know if you're new to my channel. Let me know if you are watching the replay, put hashtag replay. Hi Crafty Pete, how are you doing? Today has been crazy. Oh my gosh. I am ready for just some crafting and you know, crafting is like therapy. So, um, I like to just hang out with my friends and craft and just not worry about anything else. And then it's just all good, right? So, uh, yeah, just let me know when you guys are here. I see some people, but no comments yet. Let me pull this up too, just in case. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Hey, Barbara. How are you doing, my sweet friend? Hey there. <clears throat> so welcome to the CCC playlist. Glad to have you guys here today. Hey, Bethwin. Hi, Deborah. And Jerry's here and Tanya. Hey, Crystal. Hi, sweet friends. How are you guys doing? What's going on here? What am I doing? What in the world am I doing here? I just thought of something that I want to make, but now I won't have my supplies together for it, so I can't do that. But I could do it tomorrow, maybe. Right? Well, no, tomorrow's my private group. So, maybe Friday. I just thought of something that would be so cute to do for a beach theme. Like, really, really cute. So, um, but anyhow, so I got, got some comments up. Might not need it, but hi, Becky. Uh, hi, Dee Dee. And I uh, hope you're doing good today. Hey, Barbara, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, Zelda. Hi. Okay, so welcome to the CCC playlist. I am, um, well, what we did for our theme today and yesterday is nautical and or beach. So, um, hey, Bethwin, how are you doing, my sweet friend? Hi, Michelle. And Sandra, my my friend Sandy's here. I am excited to be here. I, I just really enjoy crafting with you guys. And um, so we're going to get started. I I was thinking about a couple different things that I wanted to do. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is make a... Um, let me grab it real quick. Sorry, friends. All right. Let me grab. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Okay. All right. So I got this right here, this big old book, and I have no clue what it's about or what, what it even is. I just grabbed it from Dollar Tree because it's a nice nice size book and I'm going to make a beach book because I love books. Personally, I have a bunch of them around my house because I find that they're very amazing. Um, just as is just as a decorative piece, an accent piece or to put stuff on, you know, to, to put it on a shelf. I mean, anywhere they're just, they're just awesome. And they're one of my absolute favorite things to work on. So I, I realized that I do not have a beach themed one, so I think that would be fun. And I didn't have a 4th of July one, so I recently made one of those. Just recently did that on Facebook. So I'm gonna make a beach one, use a cute, um, use some cute like little accessory things. I do have beach, um, if I wanna make like a tag bookmark, I do have a beach, like a bunch of beach, um, stencils and then 
when you decorate something like that, you can set um, something like this. Let me show you. You can decorate it, but you can still sit stuff on top. Like, let's just say one of these or a couple of those, a little glass of jars. Um, here's a little sandcastle. Like, you can totally put stuff on your book to still, like, you know, kind of decorate a little bit. So let me get out my napkin that I want to use and get started on this. My local store gives free books away. Oh, I got a three of eight. Oh, I love that. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Simple, simply enjoying crafting. Hopping over from Fabi's channel. Welcome. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Um, please show last night's finished craft. Um, darn, I, I took pictures of it and I didn't even get to a chance to load it yet. I do not have it in here. I don't. It turned out so cute, too. I absolutely love how the bucket was with the sand in it. and the, It just was really, really cute. Hi, Fabi. Hi, Charlene. All right, so... Let's get started. It's a little toasty in here, I feel like. I'm going to paint my book. You know, I actually... Do I want to paint my book? I mean, it's a nice, pretty decent cover. Um, You know, the color there. And let me get my napkin first, because that'll tell... My napkin is going to tell me what color I want. So I finally... I had cleared out my closet not cleared it out but cleared the area to get into my closet that's outside of this room so i have a closet in here it's a double door closet walk in great space but it's jam-packed with stuff and then i also have a closet for craft stuff right outside of the door here where it has lots of books and some you know i won't craft with a lot of them i will so i did bring a few in that I was like, oh, this would be, you know, I could do a, you know, stackable with these three. And I just really, really love books and working with them and book pages and all the things. But there's a certain napkin in here that I actually would like to use. Hopefully. That one would kind of be cute. Let me see here could use this. Hmm. Let's see. Or this says beach time and it's a little, oh, that'll be so cute. Maybe I'll do that one. This one says beach time and has a bike. That would be kind of cute, right? Maybe I'll do that. And then this has the same type of um same colors in it so i could do it says to the beach and then it has the arrow that way and boat rentals and relaxed beach cottage like all all kinds of stuff so i can use both of those i just took one of the napkins out of here that i actually was going to use it was a really beautiful ocean scene but i i put it in a napkin bundle because i was too lazy to get it out of my my summer napkins, so I grabbed one out of my my little personal stash here. Hi, Lori. And hi, Sarah. Um, I can't wait until I move in September. My craft room will be bigger and I have a closet. Yes, definitely need, gotta have that closet. Seriously. I am there with you. I am like totally there with you. I, you know what? I feel like doing Dutch Aqua because that'll match with these, the colors in these, it'll totally match. So I'm going to get my paper here. And this is going to be so cute. I want to do a tag too, like a bookmark tag. I think that would be really cute. All right, so I'm just going to use some Dutch Aqua. And cover this up. 
I am really excited about this now after picking out those napkins because I have this really cute bike too. That I, got, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby and I can put like some like little seashells and flowers and stuff. That would be really cute, right? And now I just need a brush. Looks like I forgot to bring my jar in here with my brushes that I prefer to use, but I guess this will do. All right, so I'm gonna try not to get it all over the pages. That would be a great thing. And look how pretty it is. My absolute favorite color. I love it. It's so pretty. And I'm trying to do a kind of a thickish coat. That way I don't have to do two. I mean, I might have to do like a touch up or something, but what did you make last night? Just curious. I made a, um, it was a pool noodle wreath and I put it, I made an umbrella, like a beach umbrella. And I made a bucket that had like it spilled over. So I had some sand in it and then it had, um, seashells like in the bucket and that like spilled out of the bucket and then it had a beach ball that I made from like a foam like a styrofoam ball and then it had a um a towel and then I used like beachy fabric to wrap like I did strips of fabric and I wrapped it around so it represented the water for like all the the different like blues and aquas and then the bottom had like a sand color for material. And then I wrapped nautical rope all the way across, like all the way around the whole thing. Um, just like skipping like sections. Like it was, you know how like when you wrap it and it's kind of just spread around um, the whole thing, but not like completely like tight, tight and close. And you know, what I, it, it's hard to explain, but <laughs> I'm sure you get what I'm talking about with that. Um, hey, Shanna, how are you doing? All right, so I am, um, yeah, I, I just had one of those days where it's just been nonstop and then just dealing with stuff with like the house and all. And I, I just, I'm like, I, I just need a craft and like. I just need the crafts, you know, some craft therapy with the friends. Now, tomorrow I will be in my private group, so I won't be on my regular page. But um, I definitely will be on Facebook on Friday. And I do have some some posts that I have to do for like finished crafts and all that I took pictures of. And I'm ready to post them. And I just didn't have a chance to yet. I'm putting a lot of paint on here. I mean, I feel like I definitely shouldn't have to. Oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't have to do a second coat. I mean, this is quite a bit. But yeah, last night's craft turned out so cute. I was really excited about that. Sounds like you need some serious crafting therapy with friends. Yes, definitely. How are you doing, Sandy? Uh, and Teresa. Teresa's in the house. How are you doing, my friend? All right. So what I'm going to do, let me see, let me touch up around here real quick. I do like this um, inside part because it is that dark blue like water. So I'm definitely leaving that. And did I get all down here? 
All right, so that's good. And then I'm gonna get inside just a very little bit. Hopefully, just a teeny bit. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and get started with putting my stuff on here. Now, normally if I'm using napkins, I use, I put down some white um, because, you know, you can kind of see through it, anything that's like a napkin or a tissue paper. Um, even actually, my bristles coming off, even um, rice paper. You know, I definitely prefer to have white underneath, but in this case, I don't think, I just feel like it should be fine with having the aqua underneath. Do you decorate with nautical? No, I don't. I don't at all. Um, if I did any kind of like beach beachy type of stuff, then it would be um, like on my porch because inside I do lemons and bee stuff <clears throat> and fruit. Like I added in last year, I added in, started like adding um, like some strawberry decorations and watermelon, but I do a lot of lemon and bee stuff for summer. So the beachy stuff, <clears throat> beachy and nautical, you know, that's all usually on the porch. Vicky, how are you doing, my sweet friend? All right, this is almost dry. What I could do, actually, I'm going to do itchy. What I could do is... Just do a little bit of white underneath where I'm putting my napkins. I mean, I'll, I'll test it out and see. I'll do a, like a part on the back and I'll see how it looks through it. Because usually I do the white. I mean, if anything, it's not going to really make a difference. Like, it's not like it's something that's red or something like that. So I really feel like it should be fine. Definitely did a thick enough coat. I do not need a second coat at all. So it's good to go. Um, love that color you're using, right? It's in, so pretty. All the thing I do lemon and be too in my living room, kitchen. Yes, definitely. Isn't it? It's so cute. And then I added in like some, you know, just like little things little strawberry pieces that I started making last year and watermelon. They're just cute to do like tear tray. Like one of, you know, one of the tear trays will be like strawberry. One will be, well, quite a bit of them were bees and lemon stuff. Um, all right, there we go. And let me dry this little cracked area. Actually, that was looking kind of cool. It looked like it was like really kind of old looking and crackled. It was pretty cool. All right. Yeah, so I have a lot of books that I use for this type of stuff, but I love getting like nice big books from Dollar Tree. Or you can go to the thrift store. You know, there's plenty of them from the thrift store. For sure. All right. And now I'm going to move the pages so that I can get... Um, oh, I'll just use this. It's okay if it is on the glue. So I'm going to make sure that the inside part of this has this color too.
feel like this is the perfect color for it. I mean, the good thing is you can always stack them. You can always stack the books at different ones, kind of like the same type of theme. Put those together. You can leave your cover on and have it sitting up on your shelf or table, like, you know, like this, where you can kind of see the front and the back, depending. Um, I like take, sometimes I take the covers off and I'll even use, like I'll remove some of the pages and go to one that's full of, you know, full of the scripts, full of the words. And then I start by putting a napkin on the over top of that, cause you can see those words coming through. So that always looks awesome. All right, so now I need to cut my napkin here. And I am glad that it has four on here so I can use it for other stuff too. Okay. Now, look how it just matches so good with it. I love that. I'm gonna take the white off of it, trim around it. Where's my water pan? Huh. Oh, lovely. Where the heck's my water pan? Um, hmm. Great. Where did I put my water pan? I have no clue. I guess I'm gonna have to use another one, but it's not filled up with water. That sucks. Um, last time I tried to pour it in, not in, you know, right here at the table, instead of by the sink, it was a big mess. Like water everywhere. Uh, it's okay, I'll just, I'll just use a brush. It's fine. All right, so I'm going to put some water in here. I can't believe all the water brushes I have in here and can't even use them. I don't know if I can fill it up in the jar. I might be able to, actually. Let me see. Let's just see. Let me get one out of here. All right, so I'm gonna get one that has a skinny, like a small tip. And then submerge. Oh, it just wants to float. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see if this is gonna work. We're gonna see not a drop in there. You gotta be kidding me. Huh, weird. It's like a teeny eye drop. I mean, teardrop. What the heck? This is goofy as ever. I... Slowly but surely, it's getting some in there. That seems to be plenty. I mean, it's a really small amount, but it'll do. I have more water on the outside of it. Uh, we need Erin's DIY to dip her toes. Exact. I've been trying to get her up on there. Letitia, how are you doing? Okay. Let's see. All right, so I am going to, I want the grass but I'm gonna go around 
the grass. Right around here. Try to get the white that's around it. Some wet paint right here. Definitely don't want to get it on my napkin. All right, now I'm just going to pull away all that. And try to be very careful to hold my hands or my fingers where where the little signs are. That way I don't accidentally pull those off. All right, let's do a little bit there. These water pens are really nifty. So I heard that they have them at Dollar Tree. I got mine from Amazon. Um, I haven't seen them at my Dollar Tree. Do a little bit right here and there. Then I think this one's good to go. All right. And then if I would do the bottom too, but how I want to put this, I want to put it like right on the edge in the corner here. So I have this part ripped, but here and here is just straight across. All right, and my podge. Here we go. My sweet row. How are you doing? My ether. Getting my hysterectomy was the best thing I've ever done for myself. My mom had one too. Hi, Natasha. I have surgery July 28th. Oh, wow. Coming up. Hi, Babs. I'm so glad to see you guys. Thanks for being here. All right. Um, I'll use this one here. I mean, smallest brush ever for this. <laughs> I probably could just use a foam brush and that would make sense, right? I only grab the smallest one. All right. I have to come over more over here. And up a little bit more. Bro, are you excited? Tomorrow's your last day for summer. Summer break starts tomorrow. How super exciting. Did you guys finish up everything at work today? All right, let me get this little section here. We're going to the beach this weekend, so I'm pretty excited. It's going to be perfect weather to relax on the beach. It's not going to be all like nasty. Like today, it was just, it's so hot and humid. It's just nasty out. Hopefully, it's not going to be all humid. I really hope not. 
so excited. Yep, everything is done. Yay! Awesome. They are super excited. Okay, and then this one, it does have some really cute, like little seashells and stuff around the corners, but I don't think I want to keep that the whole like square, you know? I want to like just piece beach time up here and then <clears throat> um, the bike I was thinking about putting on the, um, the side, like right over here, I think would be really cute. And I'll, I'll hold it up to you, you know, so you guys can see it better, but that's all I did so far. I, I have a thing with bike napkins for some reason, like all, anything with like a bike in it for the prints. I just like, I just love it. I've noticed that today when I was getting together, somebody for an order wanted uh, different bikes. And I, I got them together. I was like, wow, I have a lot of bike napkins. I didn't even realize that there's so many different kinds. I, so I, I definitely have a thing for them, apparently. It was pretty obvious today <laughs> as I was getting those together. All right. And I'm just trying to get a little bit close to getting, trying to get, you know, a lot of that white off there pretty much. All right. Got to be careful. And a little bit more. So I just hold my fingers on the words or the image. That way I don't get too carried away and accidentally pull it. Because that definitely can happen. All right. There we go. Perfecto. There we go. Nice. All right, so it's uh, there. Now, sometimes I'll be like really into it and I'll even separate the words so that I don't have any white in between those two. But I am not going to do that. And I think I want beach time up here in the corner because I got to kind of think about how I'm going to decorate. Maybe I should hold off on putting that just yet because I need to figure out how I want to kind of go about decorating my book here first so I don't cover things up. So let me get my bike out of here or off of my napkin here. So I got a bike from Hobby Lobby that was aqua and has a basket <clears throat> and all the things. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then I got this other one. It's been a while since I had that. It was, it's a galvanized bike and it's one of those ones that are like half where you, you put it up on the wall and then it has like the handlebars and then, you know, the front wheel and then like a bucket. So cute. And then I have like a bunch of little, little ones. Now Ro, she has a comforter, like a bedspread that has bikes on it and it's so daggone cute. I have to get it. I need to have that blanket in my life. <laughs> it's so cute. It would be perfect for summer because I like to change my bedding out. And it really would be so cute. She has it in her uh, guest room. 
All right, so make sure I don't take a wheel off or anything here. Need to be really careful. And this is a double seater. Have you guys ever rode on a double seater bike before? They, uh, you can rent them at the beach or you can rent those ones where like it holds like five people or four adults and then you can fit like two kids on there or more. All right, so I'm going to put my bike up here and beach time up here because I want to make sure I can decorate first and then... Let me see, what do I want to do for, I need to decorate. Hi, Miriam. Thank you, sweet friend. Um, it was from Biscovs. Huh. Biscovs? I've never heard of those, but that before. Mm -hmm. I changed my, is it an online store? Boscoffs. I have no clue. All right. So I'm thinking definitely some kind of beachy ribbon. And if I do this, I have this aqua one. That one's really cute too. Oh, I should make the bike. I should paint this, um, like coral salmon color. Um, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, friends. I'm just going to go. I'm just doing whatever. <laughs> I have no plan. No plan whatsoever. I'm just going for it. All right. But I need to think of, you know, a couple things I want to put on here. All right. Where's the end of this? Oh, there it is. All right, so if I put my ribbon, just to do a little, little something, something with that, I could put this on the ends because I don't want just this one because it blends in. So I could do these two on the end. That would be cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I am thinking, I guess I'll use Mod Podge for it. I'm kind of leaning towards the multimedia. Uh, mixed media glue, but I can use Fabri-Tac. I guess I'll just do this. Should be fine. All right, so I'm gonna go down my my book here, and I was debating on if I wanted to do some um, molds or not, but I don't know. This one's going to go right there. And it goes up in that little crease. And then I feel like this one needs just a little bit more. Yeah, it's stuck down pretty well. I still, I, you know what? I totally forgot to go through those, those summer craft supplies um, boxes. Because I, I could have put my netting on here. It would have been so cute. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Why didn't I do that? That was silliness. Right? Wouldn't that have been cute to put the netting? Okay. And I need to cut this. My fabric scissors here. And 
Thanks. I was wondering if I wanted to cut them off completely or tuck them in. I guess I'm, I guess I'm just cutting it. And I'm using a lighter just on the very ends to singe, you know, the, the ends so that they seal on the ribbon and then they, they won't fray. All right, so if I put my bike on here, then I could, that's if I want my bike on here. I don't know if I do or not. So I'm kind of thinking, um, good night, Lori. Sweet dreams, friend. Let me see. I should have thought this through a little bit. Hmm. I need to think this through. Let me use... My beachy flowers. I guess I'm going to put my beachy flowers up here. And then... I mean, beachy flowers. I'm just like totally going to pick some flowers out. <laughs> um, and then I am going to use this. I want to wrap my, my book and like tie it on the side here. So I'm going to use that and then probably, let me see, oh, that would be cute. And then, sorry, uh, not sorry, silk. So sorry, silk, and then um, silk binding. Yeah. I do have some little shells and stuff. That would be cute too. If I put like a row of shells. Let's see. Where do I want to put them at? I could put it in between these. That's cute. I like that. I can either do that or I could do shells on the top and bottom. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me tie this off because if not, they're going to come off of here. All right, there we go. And then I'll tie it again. Oh, beautiful molds. I do have some really beautiful molds. Add the bike. A scene for the bike to go through. Mm, I don't know. Because then... I mean, I could. But then I have the signs down here and I would have... I would have preferred to have the signs up here and then the bike down here. Wasn't really thinking that through too well. I mean, I could put it over top and just have this in the background. You could still tell that it's the, the signs on here. And it says the beach that way. Oh, well, we need to be driving the bike that way, right? Driving, riding, you know. Same thing, right? Because I feel like if I'm doing it this way, I don't know. It's just going to be, I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know if I am. But anyhow, so I'm going to put some, 
some uh, pearls, not pearls, oh my gosh, these little seashells. The little seashells. Let me cut this little piece off here. And I'm going to glue these going across the bottom and the top. I wonder if this is working now. Last night it seemed to bite the dust. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't work. Darn. I had this for a long time, too. Looks like there's some glue. Like, jammed up underneath of it. That's a bummer. I love this thing, too. But it's only... This one is at um, from Walmart for... I think it was like $8 or something. So it's a great price. I feel like... Ooh. Let's see. I might be able to fix this. All right. There was a big old glob there. So it wasn't going through. And then this glue. Let me see if I can put another one in here. If I can get it fixed. I might be able to. See, there was a piece. It like... It came back and... Oh, there we go. I think I might have got it. Yay, it works. Woohoo! Well, that's exciting. I love that. Yeah, it just was like kind of a back flow type of thing. So, kind of thinking, go down the side here as well. So I'm going to do that, and then once I cut this, they're going to be wanting to fall off unless I glue all those down. That's why I'm gluing all the way across. So that all of them are in glue. Oops. I didn't mean to do that much. Ugh. That's so bad I wanted to take that off there. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Yay, I'm so excited I fixed that. That's awesome. And I got napkins stuck on my book here. Whoopsie. There we go. All right. Yeah, I really wish I would have got that netting. That would have been great. But I certainly am not going out there and digging through those boxes right now. That's for sure. All right, there we go. Cute. That's cute. And then I'll do the top, too. Because there's a lot on here. So... I can even use this. I'm going to have to take some of it off in order for me to tie it. Unless I just, um, just put the glue across. So they're all going to have, I'm not going to worry about tying it. I'm just putting them all in the glue. Go. These little shells are too cute, though. Seriously. Make sure that all of them are down good. So Bernard and I are getting new vehicles next month. We have we've been on a hold for um, getting them while we're waiting to move in the house because, you know, of course, you don't want to go and get expensive purchases as you're getting ready to go to settlement for a house. So I was debating on getting a Durango. Does anybody happen to have a Durango or know too much about it? Because, I mean, like my parents are saying, my dad was saying it's a gas guzzler and all. I mean, of course, it's going to, it's an SUV, so it's not going to be the best on gas, but I feel like, you know, 
I feel like it wouldn't be too bad. I need something, an SUV that's big enough for the whole family, but that's not a major guest puzzler. That would be ideal. All right. Because we want to travel and stuff and we want to, you know, drive it. So, and then Bernard's getting a small, like a sporty car. It's a um, convertible thing. I can't even remember the name of it, honestly. Um, there we go. Yeah, I can't even remember the name. All right, I'll still use a couple of these. Especially if I want to use my bike, I can put a couple of them on there too. Now, what am I doing? What is the next thing I want to do here? Let's see. Um, I definitely on the side want to put, let's see, I can even put my bike. Uh, that looks dumb. I don't want to do that. I don't like that. I am going to put this part of the napkin down here though. Um, let me see. My daughter has a Durango, her third one. She loves them. Do a big gas tank. About 18 to 20 miles per, we get about 20 to 18 to 20 miles per gallon. Increase your never will again by um, way too many breakdowns. Go with GMC brand or Ford Explorer. Uh, I don't know if I want a Ford Explorer. I I like Chevy or Dodge. So I don't know. We're just gonna like just research because I was really completely set on the whole Durango thing because we rented one for a month when somebody had had hit my vehicle when we lived in Virginia Beach. And it was in my, my driveway and they came through my yard and hit it in the driveway and it moved the whole thing and it was just a big thing. So they had, um, it was in the shop for a month. So our insurance company had us, um, you know, rent the Durango and I fell in love with it. I didn't want to let it go. Just absolutely loved it. So ever since then, I just really wanted one because it was really great when we were you know we had it for that month we didn't have any kind of issues but you know it's only a month so it's not like you can really tell now where did i put that i lost the water pen again <laughs> what the heck is going on here it must have rolled underneath here. It had to have rolled. Huh. Weird. All right. Well, not so much for that. I just need to be very careful. Taking off a tiny bit of this napkin. Okay. There we go. And teeny bit here. I want a black one with black rims. And I mean, what my uncle did was, I mean, he's had different vehicles. If he didn't like it, he went and traded it in. So, I mean, I feel like it's not like I have to keep it forever. But I do really like it though. Um, cardio or terrain. Um, Nissan Armando. Eight seater SUV. Love it, but doesn't have storage for camping trips. So we switched to the mini van against my will. 
I call it my private jet van. I have a Nissan Quest now. I kind of hate it, but it's very roomy. Great on gas compared to Amada. Katia. I've never heard of an Acadia before. I'll have to look at that. Um, yeah, we have a van for our trips and everything now. And we have an SUV. And, of course, the van is very, definitely super comfortable and roomy. Especially for trips is great. But I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm like getting over the van now. Because we've had, you know, how long have I had the van for? Um, I think four or five years, maybe. Maybe four or five years. Their hands are good. My brother had one. Now my sister has passed away February 14th this year. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Wow. On um, Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, um, I just really love the Durango. I really, really do. Um, I mean, I'm going to miss my van, but I think it's time for me to get a cooler vehicle. Like, it's about that time. <laughs> Especially the teenagers are going to have their own vehicles, and we don't really necessarily have to, like, we can still do our family trips together. Because Durango will be big enough. But, you know, it's not like it's a need for them to always be traveling with us. And then if it's just Bernard and I, we could just take his car somewhere. Because I was like, well, we need to go to the beach with the top down in your car, right? And then I have to drive it. Of course. I gotta be the driver. Alright, so what I want to put on here is... I am going to use, I'm still kind of stuck on what, I, de I know I definitely want some kind of like little flowers. I'm thinking, and then I do have some kind of beachy type of let me see let me get let me get some flowers real quick um, all right this one um, Thinking maybe the coral color. Oh my gosh, I can't reach it. All right. Sorry about that. So I got like this coral, coral color here and some greenery. I got like some palm cause that's like beachy and summery. Some baby's breath, <clears throat> excuse me. And then this bloom, uh, spring bush that my sweet row got me, which is awesome. I love these. And then I think I just, I thought of what I wanted to do for my, um, let's see. what I want to do hmm. just think of something for a second. I couldn't even do this. Look at this pretty one. I had this for a really long time. Um, the bookmark. That's what I was going to say. So the bookmark, I was thinking that I should do 
these pearls that I had. The, it's like pearls and wood beads. And I could put, string those up and then put them on my, on my book and have it like kind of hanging out too. Like have the, the strand kind of hanging down. I mean, that could be cute, right? And then I have this little tassel, this little tassel here. And I'm going to put that in here. I have a lot of these things. Actually, Dollar Tree has <clears throat> some of them too. They have some of the tassel paper clips too now. All right, so the palm first, and then I still do want to put my my little napkin that says beach beach time. All right, and I got these from Michaels. They're super cute, and I could do hydrangeas as well. Let's see. Get my other scissors here. Uh, that's how I feel about Nissan. Never let us down. So I'm emotionally invested in Nissan at this point. Nissan is great on gas too. Um, it's worth it to me. I feel safe in it. I think I still want one. Hi, Paula. Go hybrid. Easier on the wallet. We did think of that. For the new house, we're getting a um, one of those like electric. We're thinking like the getting that electric thing hooked up in our garage where we can charge our, you know, charge our car and all that good stuff. But I don't know. It's just going to be weird to get used to that. You know, all right, so I'm putting my palms down first, and this one is very shiny, so I don't really like real plasticky looking. So I use some dark sealing wax and just go over it a little bit so it takes the shine down. I'll make sure to look back at well, actually, I don't think. I don't know if my comments save on here, right? During the live, I think after the live, you have to like re-comment. So I'm going to have to skim through and see what cars to look into. Can you believe I still am using the same I've had this dark sealing wax for forever. I can't even believe I'm still using it. It's insane. I do have this other one now. Just gonna use a little bit. There we go. The shine is no more. And this stuff is just the same, pretty much. Um, it's by Jolie. It's finishing wax in brown. And I have them in my Amazon. So if you guys um, happen to want to look at it, I absolutely, absolutely love it very much. And I use it for distressing like a lot of pieces. And it's under paint and paint supplies. I need a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the way the gas prices are going up right now, it's like, I really, I don't want a gas guzzler, but I really, like, who knows? The, the price of gas could go down. 
it might go back down and it's not that bad on the base and we're not going to be living far from the base anyway so i can always come back over here and get you know fill up on gas and stuff all right now this needs to be glued again This one spot is giving me a problem here. And there we go. Should have put <laughs> that sand spray on here. That would have been cool. I'm still going to seal my napkins, but I just wanted to kind of dirty up my book a little bit here. And then I'm just going to put my little beachy kind of flowers on here. I should put a couple down here. Hmm. Let's see. Could put like a little. I feel like I'm gonna put like a little fish on here. Where did I put those? Um. Hmm. I have my little container. Where's it at? I feel like this room is driving me crazy. I can't. Oh, here it is. It's like I just usually know where all my stuff is. It's never a problem. I could put a little mermaid, put a little fish, got some seashells and different things in here. A boat. Let's see. There's some that are already painted. So let me look at these. Oh, look at this boat and the seahorse and all. These are cute. And they're on the little clips. I love those. All right, the seahorse. No, don't like that. I might use a little fish. I would have to paint it, but I can at least take the clip off real quick. There we go. There's a little piece on the ends that I'm just going to hopefully get off without breaking anything. There we go. And uh-oh. It came off the rest of it, but part of the tail's gonna be breaking up. Darn. Darn darn. Oh my goodness, the tail, the poor tail. Let me see if I can doctor this up just a little bit here. I feel like I can. Um. Yeah, I certainly could fix that up. Let me try one more just in case this one doesn't break off. 
see. Oh, you know what? I should heat it up. Before I do that, I should have totally heated it up. Let's see here. Yeah, how I was kind of picturing doing this whole book is a bit different than kind of the route I went. That'll be cute. I like that. And then that fish is going to be like a coral, kind of like a coral color, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let me get some. This one is called, it's by Folk Art Home Decor, Chalk Paint, and Salmon Coral. That's what that looks like. So I am going to paint that really quick. That's a really pretty color too. Look how pretty that is. All right. Um, some great car conversation. Dollarama, some crappy kind. Um, the seahorse is really cute. It's adorable. So I want to use a couple of different things here. Why am I not holding it back here? Doesn't that make sense? All right, so I'll let that dry. And got paint in the eyeball. <laughs> Get that eyeball cleared. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna set that there. And actually, I wanna put some diamond dust on the little fish too. Make it all sparkly. And then, I love the mermaid too, it's really cute. The boat's adorable. The little seahorse I could put. Let's see if I can get this off. Let's see. There we go. Well, now you see it over here. See it by the tail. I just really prefer to not have that one there. I mean, I guess it's not gonna be that noticeable I don't know. I'll see. All right. So now let me get these out of the way here. Put that in here. And yeah, why did they have to have all the little teeny ones with all the the clothespins on it? They have tons of. The, I have all the the big ones too, but those. Those are going to be too big, I feel like. So, I mean, I guess I could probably heat it up and see if it'll come off. We'll see. We shall see. All right. And then I'm just going to put this down here on the side here. little one for in the middle so I like it in threes and then this is where I'll put my my fish down there once that dries a little bit and then up here I want to finish putting my greenery and stuff and my other palm there's the other little palm I'm just gonna layer this little section up here with some of the greenery first and then put a couple of the flowers let's 
good. I like that. And then I'm going to start putting these in here, the flowers here. Oops. Okay, what's going on here? All right, that down there. And so I like things in odd numbers when it comes to like so many things, especially putting any kind of, doing any kind of florals. So I'm doing three of these little hydrangea little hydrangeas there and then I'm using this one from this little spring bush here look how pretty and I'm gonna cut that down a little and put that one right over here too it's a bit uh, lighter and then I'm gonna add in some white because I don't want just that color. Got to add in some more, some some white here. But the baby's breath. There we go. And this one over here. A beach book, yep. That bees adorbs. Um, like that bees adorbs. I need to act my age. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know how many I use emojis for like everything. I just love them. They're so daggone cute. And they have some new ones for um for iPhone that when you update it, your phone, like just the last update and those emojis were so daggone cute. I still feel like they need to add a couple more that they're missing. There's still a couple more where I'm like, why don't they have this at this point? All right. That's cute. I like that a lot. Um, let me put a, a seashell up in there too. All right. I have some little teeny flowers up in here. So I want to use one of these little, oh, it has little pearls in the middle that I got from Walmart really cute right. my fish is almost dry so I'm gonna help help it out a little That'll be cute. I was thinking to put the little flower. I like that. If I use the flower on the seahorse, it kind of covers up where you can see the clothespin right there, right by that tail. So I feel like if I put this little flower here, then 
it covers it up. So you don't see that. I feel like that's, I feel like that's pretty cute, right? All right, I'm gonna do it. I mean, why a <laughs> flower would be there in that particular spot, I don't know, but I'm going with it. And then I'm going to put this one here to have a white one right in that spot that it was like missing something there. And I don't want my fish to blend in with like the flowers up there. So I'm going to put that one down here and then I'm going to put the seahorse up here with the flowers. Oh, that's cute. It's adorable. Now I just need to see where I want to place it though. All right. So I think right there is good. And a little bit at the bottom. All right, I'm going to hold that there for just a second. Nice. And then I am going to put diamond dust on them. Right now I am. Just gonna put it on here and then I'll add it after. All right. I just need these to stay. Like, I do not want these to pop off. Okay. And then I need to keep in mind that I am going to I am going to wrap my ribbon like across like right here and then make my bow right on the side of by the pages here. So with that I have to make sure to not put anything right there. Let me see. I gotta cut that down. It's way too much. You know what I think I might do with this one? Instead of putting this one here, I think I'm gonna actually put this as my bookmark here. So it's gonna be hanging out the top and the bottom. a little too much hanging out. All right. Yeah, I'll take some of that off in a minute. But I need um what do I need? Oh where is that beach time? I need my beach time on here. Oh, here it is. I found it. All right. That's going to go up here. Caddy cornered in the corner here. And put that. Do a little mud project up here. 
Let me get this leaf out of the way. Okay, I'm going to show you in just a moment what I got going on here. So what are you guys doing this weekend for like Father's Day, for the holiday weekend? Because um, there's no school or work for my family on Monday. So um, we don't have to come back from the beach until Monday, which is awesome. Hey, Susan. Love that flower, a bird in the sky. Oh, that would be cute. Groups. Thank you, Bethwin, for putting the, the links and all. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. All right, so I got that on there. And then let me seal. Well, I'm going to put a little diamond dust anyway, so I'll add that. This is so daggone cute, seriously. I love it. And then, where is, oh, Phil. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. Right there. I wanted to double it up, so I just wrapped it around a couple times, and then just do a little bow. And then trim that. So I put the bow on the side. It depends on what kind of book I'm doing and how I kind of decorate it to see, like, if I want to put my bow in the middle or down here, or if I have it in the middle, I can put my flowers kind of around with the bow and kind of have those together. So it totally just depends. So now I'm thinking, let's see, I want to put a little something else on here. Hmm. I'm thinking for the bling, instead of like a bling piece that I would normally put on the bow, I could do some kind of, um, some kind of other, let me think, let me think here, maybe. Oh, why is it going to be a hard decision? I was thinking like maybe some kind of um, seashell on there, but I don't know. And the reason why I decided not to put anything covering right here, like I could do stamping or, you know, like a lot of different things, but I left it open because I was thinking if I have this sitting down on the table, then I could put this one here and just have it like just you know you could put a candle or something but I think having that just chilling on the book would be super cute right but I was thinking something on the sides here and I am leaning towards Maybe some kind of, I could do stenciling. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. And then with this, I want to put a couple of these beads on the end here that are like the peachy, peachy pearls and, you know, all that good stuff. Let me see. 
this book is so cute. Oh my gosh. You know, if I, I could work on books every single day. Like I seriously love them that much. I've made so many and I actually did, um, I got together some different ones that I've done, like my most recent ones. And I got the pictures together so I can do a post, um, just to kind of show some different ways to kind of go about it with, um, with decorating, stacking, like my next one that I want to do, I don't quite know the theme just yet. Um, I was thinking like, a oh, I could do my junk journal one um, that I want to do for the Alice in Wonderland. But let me show you, well, I'm not going to use these books for it, but let me show you real quick of which ones I picked out that I thought were really, oh, they must have, that must have been what fell. Let me see. Did they fall? Where did I sit them now? Jeez, I need to get myself together with how my craft room is right now. Usually I can, my stuff's like right here, exactly where I, I know where it is. And now I'm like, where in the world did it go? Because I just had it sitting here. That is so weird. Um, huh. Very strange. Well, anyhow, it doesn't really matter. I was just going to show you these three books that I'm going to stack up. And they, they looked really... They were very awesome. Oh, right here. All right, so different sizes that you can do. Now, this one, I'm going to use three books. And I'm probably going to take one of the covers off, maybe the top cover, and then kind of start with, with there. And then when you do your, your three books, you can have something that ties them all together. Like you can decoupage something to kind of tie it all together as one but still make it look like three you know things it's just a some kind of image or something like a napkin right in the middle or something like that um but you can also put like a mold in the middle or on you know the two ends or you can put it on all three there's just so many different ways that you can kind of go about it in different sizes and whether it's hardcover or not like taking the the binding the the cover and the bind, like all that stuff can come off. And you can do so much with them. Very much love them. And I think that's another reason why I love doing, this isn't gonna go through, that I love doing the, um, the junk journals as well because I'm still working with books and book pages and you know all the the things absolutely love scrapbooking actually that's how I started out I don't know if a lot of you guys know that but kind of like my first like real like getting really into the craftiness and collecting all tons of supplies and everything was actually scrapbooking. So even before I had the accessory business doing like the bows and the jewelry and all that stuff, I was into the scrapbooking stuff, which was super fun. All right. Why am I having such, it's like right there. Oh my gosh. It's so close. It's right here. I can get it. And my bead threader won't fit through here or else I would use that. There we go. I got it. Come on. Oh my gosh. I just had it. There we go. Woohoo! Awesome. All right, let's see if I can get it. See the trick too, if you don't want to, if you want to use something that's like kind of soft and not 
a sturdy material like jute, for example, um, then you really have to have glue on it for a good ways up because the tip will go in, but then it's like the rest of it will not. And then sometimes you'll have to even recut the, the very tip. This one's too small. I could get this one here, because that one's a bigger one. And then I feel like I need another white, maybe. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe, um, let's do a white. There we go. They're so cute. And this one here. And another white. I don't know if it's going to go through this one. I'm going to have to cut the tip again. There we go. Just had to cut the tip and then it, it worked for me. Oh, I was supposed to put the white one first. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's clear. Forgot to break out the drill and <laughs> drill that hole bigger. I can get my skinny twine up in there and stuff, but I mean, this is ridiculous. The struggle is real here. There we go. I feel like it needed a white one, but whatever. It's all right. And then that one. That's cute. All right, so now I'm just gonna tie it at the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment here what I got going on. And then I'm gonna just cut off that end piece that has the glue, cause that doesn't really look, you know, the best. All right, so I still need to figure out, like I do have beachy stencils and stuff. So I could put that on the ends here for a little something extra. Or I could put the ribbon, like some more ribbon. All right, so we got all that stuff there. And then I did do a little distressing on the pages to make them kind of darkened and then here is the bike there so I want to do something on the sides and then here is the pearls and like the beads and stuff that are really pretty I'm gonna put diamond dust and then as far as the um because even if you have like say you have this sitting down on a like a shelf or something like this one I have the this one is a bookmark that I have the tag up here and you can move it all around and then at the bottom of the tag bookmark thing is a rusty star so even when you're laying it down like this you know a shelf sitting it up then it still has that kind of dangling down or you could just sit it in front of it on the table so I think those are really cute because it's just like some extra little accessories there that makes it cute and then I could do the same thing with this where if it's up on the shelf then it's hanging down 
So that's cute. Oops, what am I dropping here? I have no clue. I just dropped something down there. Um, oh, well, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of diamond dust. And then as far as the side, I'm not really too sure of. I could put like a little ribbon or something. I don't know. Or I have a lot of beach stickers. Tons and tons of beach stickers. With seashells and all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Got the little flip flops. I could have put these on my wreath um, last night. Added the little flip flops to it. I'm thinking. Could do the bird. And a, a shell, maybe. This is for a lake. Life is better at the lake, lake house, but you can use this, you know, some of them definitely could be used for beachy type stuff. But I'm kind of thinking the starfish. Let's see, let's take this out of here. It is very 3D. So I definitely want to take that off. Hmm. Um, you know what? Or I don't know if I want to do the stickers on here. Let me see. I know I'm being indecisive, but I feel like I have to be satisfied with it, right? So let me put, where'd that jar go? I have the one jar. Hold on one second. The one jar I put to the side that had um, a couple of shells in it. Oh, here it is. I'm thinking just to put like a couple of shells on the side or something. Yeah, I'm just going to layer up the shells. Ooh, those are hot. I want that in place. go. Ooh, that is really hot. Now I'm making a mess. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm dripping glue down and everything. Making a big old mess. There we go. I am going to have to clean a little bit of that glue up, but um, here's a little teeny one. I wanted to put, oh my goodness, 
I don't want to glue my finger on there. All right, now you guys have to cooperate here and stay. Like this is goofy. So much glue. All right. There we go. There we go. That's much better. All right, so once I get that to stay a little bit, I'm gonna put diamond dust on that as well. Make them like kind of glimmery and sparkly and all. And so I just did like a little pile. And then up here, I'm not gonna put it exactly like that one. I'm gonna do it a bit different. And I have so many like so many shells and I'm sitting here with like two different kind of shells right now. All right, so two right here. And third one will be, ta-da, this little teeny baby one. And there we have that. This one's gonna need more glue on it. I can see that now. It's not gonna stay on. I shouldn't have put that wax on here on this side. Till I got my stuff, you know, glued down would have been great. And there we go. Much better. Okay, so here it is. So I put three here and then I put, um, it's like a little cluster of five over there. Just adds a little something to the side so that it's definitely more details. Love the details. And there we go. All right, now up here, I wanna make sure that my bookmark doesn't come through. So I'm gonna tie a little knot And just push it down towards the the paper there. That way I still have a little piece that's hanging out of the book up here and it doesn't necessarily pull through very easily. All right, so there's that. And then usually if I don't do anything to the back, then um, I'll just do a little distressing or something. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do back here is just add a little bit of the wax. Get those corners, edges. I didn't cover the whole entire thing. I just have it in different spots there. And oops. Could always have this hanging from the top too. However, however you think you would like it best. All right, so I'm done with all that. And I'm just going to put my diamond dust and that is done. Oh, I 
probably should get my diamond dress first. Good night, Michelle. Sleep tight. Isn't the sandcastle cute? And it's from um, Love the Book. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Isn't the um, what was I just saying? Oh my gosh, I just can't even think tonight. I have been just really out of it. Totally off my A game here, friends. I want to put a couple of little seashells on the front. Just scattered. I had so much on my mind today. And it has thrown me off. Alright, so I'm going to put one there. Totally random spots here. And then... Um, oh my gosh, I need to just make up my mind where I'm putting it. So acting goofy about it. Yeah, I need to get all of my summer crafts together. By the time I get it all out, it's going to be daggone fall. And up here. Just kidding. Not right there. I don't like that. That was a little too kind of covering up the word there a little bit or the letter. So I would say maybe right here. Yeah, right there is good. So I want to make sure I still leave room for my sandcastle. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The sandcastle is from um, Dollar Tree. Yeah, I would put my sandcastle up on here. I can still have room for the shell next to it and then a shell in front of it. And then these little teeny ones, which I'm going to put one up here. Never mind, stuck to my finger. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one right there. And where did I put that bag at? I have no clue. Things are not very organized in here. So that collab for the craft room organization is next week, friends. Which means I gotta have my room done by Thursday for the big reveal, which I did show it in my craft my craft room in my uh, private group. But I'm gonna be doing it for YouTube and well, you know, everybody. The Facebook peeps and all, they'll see it. Um, hmm. How did I manage to lose the shells that were in the bag? The baggie. Did I sit it over here? Um, it's going to be, here it is. I just have too much stuff on my table right now, so I can't see it too well. Can't see, I can't seem to find my stuff. Um, please do not forget to go over and comment on there. And Crooked Cane. Yes, definitely. And you can check out everyone, everybody's creations from today and from yesterday on our CCC page on Facebook. And we have the channel on YouTube as well. I don't think our Facebook stuff goes into the YouTube though. So for yesterday's, you'll have to go onto um, 
the Facebook page. But our Facebook page does have both the YouTube and the, the Facebook. All right, now a little seashell up in here, up in the little greenery. And then, you know what I was just thinking? Um, a clam has pearls. So I should put pearls up in my little flowers up in, you know, at the top there. I think that would be cute. So let me do that real quick and then diamond dust and then that one's done. Um, that's not pearls. Um, that's not pearls. All right, so I'm thinking I could use some aqua. That would be pretty. Some aqua pearls. Or I could do all three colors. I think I'll do that. I'll switch it up a little bit, friends. So I am going to use the aqua and the ivory one. And I'm gonna use the salmon peachy one that has gemstones in it. And I'm gonna put those three together like a little cluster like I usually do. And then those are gonna be right up here at the flowers. All right. And last but not least, there we go. All right. That is cute. I like that. One of them doesn't want to stay with the group. Has a mind of its own. Let me put a little... There we go. Okay. And then I'll put a little bit of diamond dust and then all done. All right, what's going on here? Like what is going on? Really? I don't understand. Just a word of uh, advice. Do not put your wax on anything until all your stuff's done. Because that was just... Like it's a, it just doesn't, it repels the, um, you know what? I could add these down here. These are so cute. And they kind of like, they bring out the sands color. I love that. It's so pretty. Those are really awesome. I love those. All right. And there's some hot glue right there that's bubbled up. So I'm going to put some diamond dust over top of it. And there we go. Nice. That is so daggone cute, seriously. Um, all right, so now I'm just gonna put some, well, let me show you what it looked like. I feel like those really add it to it. All right, so here's my little flower thing down there. It's not cute. And then the seashells around. 
and then there's the the pearls up there the three pearls together in the top corner and, you know, and then i put a little pearl or not a pearl sorry a, um a seashell i put a little seashell up here on the little ledge there yeah this is from dollar tree it's so cute and i actually wanted to do a little detail which I'm going to use my Lagoon paint. And there's going to be just a little teeny detail of, that one's too big. That on my sand bucket. because half the paint was missing. Majority of the paint was missing. It was really barely any on there. And there we go. Oh, that's cute. Right. Much better. And so there's little details, friends. And then what you could also do is like, you know, you can have a thing of sands, like fill a little jar up with sands and you can have that sitting up on your book too. I mean, there's different things you can totally do that, that would just add to it and just make it really cute. And a part of, I, I find that they're really like the books are a really nice decorative piece and definitely a conversation piece when people see them they're like they want to know about it talk about them you know all the things because they're pretty awesome all right i'm making sure that my napkin's nice and sealed and then i'm just adding a little bit of the diamond dust. So I'm going to try not to go too crazy with it and drop diamond dust around my house. Poor Bernard. He had it all up in his, his foot one day. He got two of them. Well, actually I think it was one or two in his foot and then he got it in his hand. I'm like, what in the world? Like, how do you got glass all over? Like, I don't, I didn't break anything. He asked me if I broke something. I'm like, I didn't break anything. I don't know what it is. Sure enough, after I thought about it, because he was like, it's little teeny, like, shards getting it. I was like, oh, wow. I totally am dropping diamond dust around. Like, that's not good. I mean, I don't want it to hurt my animals. I wear shoes around my house. I'm very weird about getting dirty feet. <laughs> And it doesn't matter if I just vacuum cleans, I just, I have to wear shoes. It's just how I am. Not regular shoes, like I, it's just house shoes. Like little slip-ons. I don't wear socks and tennis shoes in my house. <laughs> um, but Hannah's the same way as me. Like we just don't want any, if there's any kind of crumb on the floor, I don't want to walk on no crumb. I got to have slippers on or I got to have... You know, my slides or flip flops is fine too. But I'm just, just totally weird like that. Oh, thank you. A moat. Oh, that oh moat. That'll be cute. I can't wait to do a a little um sand castle this weekend with Aria. It's gonna be so cute. I wasn't gonna put any right here. 
since the sand castle is right there, so I was trying to go around it. But then I was like, well, if by chance it happens to not be sitting on there, then I at least want it to be like a finish look in that one spot missing it. And I try not to do too much over the napkins so that you can still, you know, see everything really good after everything dries then I can put my um, I could take the excess off definitely want some on my little fish that's cute and the shells I'm a barefoot girl. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Gotta get my third together. Hate shoes on unless I used to be like that. I used to be barefoot all the time for like forever. And I don't know what it was that I just totally switched up. I have no clue. And it might what I think it might have been. It could have actually happened in Italy because the floor was so, um, it was like a really cold, like towel floor. Now, one of our places we had in Italy actually had a heated floor. It was really cool. But most of the time it would be just really cold on my feet and everything. And I just got used to it, like wearing it. And then it became like just a thing where it was, I was like, oh, my feet are nice and clean. I don't step on anything. And so then I just loved it. I want to actually put a little bit on this flower here, too, this white one. Which you might have thought it was a solo wood flower, but it's actually one of those little styrofoam flowers from Dollar Tree. That looks really good. And I guess I'll put a little bit on the side. So I'm gonna feel like it's dry enough. Here, I love it on the shelves really pretty all right and that is all done okay got it over here nice and shimmery and sparkly and amazing I love this it's so pretty yeah, so I'm just going to have it sitting up on my shelf. Um, you know, sometimes I'll switch it up. Like, I'll have it on my shelf sitting like this. You can kind of see all the things really good. And then I can have my my thing sitting right, you know, next to it. My sandcastle. Or I'll lay it down. Have my, my sandcastle laying up on it. 
think anyway is great. And you could just do any theme at all with these. They're super fun. All right, so let me set this over here for a moment. Yeah, definitely don't need that to fall. Okay, so um, let me see, it's after 11. I am done for the night, friends. I had a great time. I need to cut that. I was able to fix my glue gun, which is great. Somehow it was just jammed up and had like a backflow going. And I don't know if I'll be able to use this because it has a, a piece over here that's clumpy. Where it dripped down. I guess if I pull that off. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to work on a couple of things. I have messages to get back to and um, I do need to get to some organizing. So thank you so much for joining. And if you missed anybody from today, you can always, oh, thank you. Message in a bottle. Oh, that would be so cute, right? Oh my gosh, I have those little teeny bottles and I can put a little paper. Let me see. Mini bottles. And I could put, I could roll up a paper and put it up in there. That's a cute idea. And then sit that with it. Um, let's get a little piece of paper. Just gonna roll it on up. Don't forget to like and come. Yes, come back and like and comment and all the things because it doesn't keep it when you're live. You know, the comments and stuff, like you'll have to come back and, and usually, even if you do like three minutes, like all you have to do is turn on the thing for three minutes and then you, you totally can have, um, like give the, you know, the creator the credit, like we get the credit for it for three minutes and then like and comment, um, and that is all you got to do, friends. Um, and not that this doesn't count for anything, because it definitely does. But you just get, I guess, extra if you come back. I don't know exactly how that works. How does it work, Beth, when? All right, so that would be cute up here. I love that. I'll lay it on its side. And then it's got the little message in there. And then I'm going to put it right there. Oh, that would be so cute. That was a great idea. And there we have it. So it's like spill, you know, it's knocked over like it's been floating in the water. There we go. That's too cute. <laughs> I love that. And there it is. The engagement. Yeah, but do you get you get like a credit for them obviously on the live too, I would imagine. Like I would get credit for that and then um they have to come back to comment and stuff, I guess. Like why I just, I think it's just crazy because like, why doesn't it, they don't keep the comments from the live. So that's goofy to me. I don't understand that. It's all just the, the algorithm and just all the things with 
social media just works in weird ways. That's for sure. All right. So I, um, goes here. I am all done for tonight and I thank you so much for being here. And, um, we had like 40 people here. Like that's pretty awesome. You cannot comment under a live video. Keeps the chat. Oh, it does keep the chat. You get view hours. Okay. Get the views. And more peeps than the crafting feeds. Then you get more peeps. Up here and more peeps. But like crafting feeds. Then you. Huh. Comment under a live video. So you get the view hours. That is what it is. I see. And then you get like if like it's something with the credit that you get. I don't know, it just helps like for Facebook and here if it's like three minutes to be on somebody's video for like three minutes and then to comment and um you know like or love or whatever like all those things and it helps out a huge amount. So, all right, friends, sweet dreams. I'm going to be in my, um, sorry, I had to get myself together there. <laughs> um, I'm going to be in my private group tomorrow evening, and then I will be back on Friday. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know, because Friday I'm going to be traveling to the beach. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to be traveling to the beach on Friday, so I'll have to see if I'm going to do one late. I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely post and see what the deal is with that and, um, you know, keep you guys in the loop. Saturday, I'll definitely be on for sure. Because usually, like, on the actual travel day, I don't usually do it then. But... You never know. I switch it up. Just depends. All right. So sweet dreams, and I keep an eye out. I have some posts that I'm gonna do on Facebook that will um, for like finished crafts and everything. And I would love to know what you guys think about it. And um, sweet dreams, friends. And thank you so much for everything, um, Beth. One for helping out. Um, no reviews adds to your engagement score. Ah, people are now, peeps here now for the live adds up to your view hours. So you need 4,000 to get monetized. Yeah, I do have, um, I think I'm at 4,000 or close, right? But then I need the, the rest of the, I think I need a thousand people though. See you tomorrow. I am super excited to be able to see you tomorrow, my sweet friend. All right, sweet dreams, friends. Bye.